Hi guys, welcome back to All I Know About Depop. This video is going to be a short tutorial explaining what the Depop fees are and sharing a little trick on how to work out your profit quickly. So let's start with the basics. What does Depop charge you to sell on their app? Well, first off, you don't have to pay anything until you make a sale. Unlike some other selling apps, Depop does not charge you to list. You don't have to pay Depop anything to set up your shop or to add listings. You only pay when one of these listings sells. This is pretty good, especially as a new shop because it means there are no upfront costs. So when you do make a sale, let's talk about what happens then. Hi, Editing Lucy here. This is just your warning that things are about to get quite mathsy. If this is not your cup of tea, then I will leave a timestamp in the description so you can skip ahead to the part where I just share the tool that does all the work and the maths for you. But if you do fancy learning what goes on with the numbers, then keep watching and welcome to Maths Class with Lucy. Well, off the bat, Depop takes 10% of the total transaction amount including the shipping that you've charged the customer. So for example, if I sold a jumper for £20 with £3 shipping, Depop would take 10% of the overall price and the shipping price combined, which is 20 plus £3, so £23. And 10% of £23 is £2.30. So £2.30 would automatically get paid to Depop when the buyer checks out that order but that is not the end of it. After this, there is also a transaction fee. Depending on how the buyer checks out, you either get charged by PayPal or by Depop Payments if they checked out using their card. Doesn't really matter which one it is, the fee is basically the same amount. Here in the UK and in Europe, the standard transaction fee is around 2.9% plus 30 pence per transaction. For the US, the standard PayPal transaction fee is actually slightly higher. It's around 3.49% plus 49 cent on top of that for the transaction. Bear in mind that the percentage that is taken off in the transaction fee, so the 2.9% or the 3.49% if you're in the US, is taken off the total sale price, so the price you sold the item for plus the shipping, not the figure after the Depop fee has been taken away. So with my £20 jumper with £3 shipping, Depop takes 10% of £23 and the transaction fee takes 2.9% of £23. So with my jumper, Depop takes takes 10% which is £2.30. The transaction fee is 2.9% plus 30p which works out to 67 pence plus 30p which is 97 pence total. So if we add these two fees together this equals £3.27 and that's the total of fees that will get deducted from our sale. If we minus that from £23 we are left with £19.73 which is all ours and Depop transfers this either into PayPal or into our bank account depending on how the buyer checked out. So hopefully that explains how the Depop fees work. It's not super complicated when you understand what's going on, but if you're not a numbers person then I wouldn't worry too much. This next little trick that I'm about to share is what I use and it allows you to work out your profit without having to do the maths. <laughs> So there's actually a tool that does all the work for you. If you Google Depop fees calculator, you'll find several that are free to use. I will link one in the description. This is the one I tend to use. So you fill in these boxes and it calculates your profit here. So if we go back to the jumper example, so I know I sold it for £20. Uh, I charged £3 for shipping and shipping will cost me £3. And then say if I brought the jumper for £4 originally and with this tax rate box I just ignore it and leave it blank and then down here you'll see that it's worked out that I'll be paying a Depop fee of £2.30 which is what we worked out earlier and we'll be paying a PayPal fee or transaction fee of £97 pence, which we also worked out earlier so that's good that we've got the same maths as the calculator uh, and then you can see here it shows you your profit. So it would be £12.73, that is our overall profit for that sale. So the Depop fees calculator is kind of a harsh reminder of what you are actually making on each sale. It's definitely easy to forget about fees and think that £20 is coming your way. I tend to use the calculator just before I price an item to check I'm making enough profit on that listing. It's also handy to do before you buy a big job lot so you can see if the profit you make will be worth buying that job lot for. So I would definitely recommend checking this out 
especially if you're a new shop, so you know that you're not selling something for nothing and you're in the know about how much money you're actually going to make. I've noticed Depop gets a bit of stick about charging 10% as a fee, so I thought it would be good to look into similar marketplaces and do a little bit of comparison. So Etsy actually undercuts Depop with 9% fees in the UK, although I have found that in the US they are apparently 8%, which is pretty good. But with Etsy you do have to pay to list. So you're paying 20 US cent to list an item, which is around 14, 15 pence per new listing. ASOS Marketplace is a lot more expensive. They take 20% and they also charge a monthly subscription fee of £20 per month. So they make Depop look pretty affordable. eBay varies like a bit, but they take around 12%, so a little bit more than Depop. Then there's Vintage, which is the winner by far. <laughs> they don't have any fees for their sellers. They actually charge the buyers a fee, so they've kind of flipped the standard way on its head. This sounds pretty good as a buyer, but I think the downside of Vintage is that it's just not as popular as these other apps. Now compared to its competitors, I don't think the Depop 10% actually looks too bad. Obviously as a seller I wouldn't mind if it was a bit less, but <laughs> I do think it's pretty fair. Just in case you have suspicion, I'm not affiliated with Depop or like secretly a Depop employee. This is just what I've discovered from being a reseller for several years, so don't worry, I'm not being paid to say this. That's just my opinion, but do let me know what you think. Have you used the Depop fees calculator before or is this the first time you've heard about it? I'm not sure how well known this is, so do let me know. My next video is going to be all about what you should get up to on your first week of creating a Depop shop, so stay tuned for that. If this video has helped at all, then be sure to check out these and I'll see you next time.